Hey guys, Jared here. I haven't done a vlog in, uh, in a while and a community question or whatever you want to call it. It is a beautiful day out. I don't know if you can see the, the light shining through, but damn is it nice. And I'm inside here making a vlog. I'm crazy. And I'm also partially deaf because of this cold I got, which, uh, well, long story short, I was in New Orleans on a conference and um, the last day when I was flying back to uh, Montreal here, I got a really nasty cold and it, it, the air pressure, for whatever reason, my ear popped and it just hasn't come back yet and I went and got it checked out and it's, uh, it's not infected or anything like that so the docs are just like, yeah, it's going to take time for it just like to uh, sort of rebalance itself. And it's weird because like I'll be talking, I'll yawn, and it'll go like pop, 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 and I'll hear fine for like 20 seconds, and then it just goes right back. But anyways, so if my volume level is a little bit off, that's why, because I can only hear properly out of this ear. So anyway, uh, the discussion at hand today is, are we looking at the end of the video game industry as we know it today? Uh, or should I say, are we looking at the end of the video game industry as we knew it before? And what exactly do I mean? Well, I mean, look at what's happening to Capcom, to Konami, to all these big, huge companies. They're all falling apart. It's like if you don't make a AAA, huge, successful first-person shooter today, you're pretty much screwed. It's like you, you go from like that end for like a triple A blockbuster that will sell a ridiculous amount of copies and that's that's it that's like your bread and butter and that allows you to make another triple A blockbuster and it's one of the reasons why I see a lot of innovation dying so you go from that all the way down to like the indies which seem to be like well you know we're not going to spend that much money on these games so we're willing to take chances they don't need to sell as many copies for us to you know make money and it's sort of like, there doesn't seem to be any sort of middle ground anymore. It's sort of like, that's it. It's almost like the indies have replaced traditional console uh, development. And that's where the most innovative stuff, the most fun stuff is, or the most variety. And that's sad, man. Like, I, not, not a knock against indies, not at all. It's just, what the hell happened to the industry? Like, man... I miss being able to go and get shmups. I miss being able to go get brawlers. I miss being able to get, you know, like all these different types of games. And then I was reading the news uh, this morning and uh, I've been really out of it. I've been super busy with work and things like that that I just haven't, I haven't had a chance. And, uh, and I see with Konami that like they could, in theory, be slowly but surely pulling out of the video game industry to go um, sort of like the SNK route into like gambling machines and stuff like that because they're making a ton of money off of those uh, Pachinko I think it's called and um, like what what the hell like it doesn't make any sense I don't I don't get what what's going on well I do get what's going on I get it because the budgets are out of control now so you need blockbusters in order to support the budgets and and, and that's it it's just it's sad. I find it really sad that, uh, that the industry has turned into what it is today. And it's one of the main reasons why I'm focusing more and more and more on retro game content because there's still all kinds of gems that I get to discover. And as of late, I've also been playing a lot of Dragon Quest X. Uh, thanks to Cranberry, if you're watching this, you rock! She's been uh, helping me out like crazy, leveling my character up, and uh, helping with some quests and some uh, story progression. So that's been a real blast. I actually purchased version 3.0, so I'm, uh, I'm all set once I actually catch up, which will be in a long time. But hey, it's, uh, it's, going, it's going very, very well, considering I have no time. It's, it's going very well. So that was pretty much it. I just wanted to know, like, what are your thoughts on all this? I know this is something that I have brought up in the past, and I'm sure I'm going to mention it again in the future, but is there any way we'll ever go back to the way it was where we'll have, you know, 15 shooters, 15 brawlers, a bunch of platformers, have your first-person shooters, have some RPGs? Like, it's, it doesn't seem like it. Then again, though, then you get, like, Square Enix, 
who like, Star Ocean 5, where did that come from? Didn't see that at all. And we've got Kingdom Hearts 3, we've got Final Fantasy 15. I'm telling you, Dragon Quest 11 is right around the corner, an announcement for that. And so when I see that, I sort of get goosebumps because I'm like, hey, maybe we can get another Chrono game. That'd be awesome. Chrono Trigger, Chrono Cross, and Chrono something. But uh, then you get like Konami and you start hearing about Capcom and all the rough times that these companies are going through. With Konami, it's so sad. Kojima-san leaving is like, oh man, it's so sad. But good for him. I mean, if it allows him to do other games and other things that he wants to do, then good for him. But uh, it's just, I don't know, the industry has changed so much, it's unbelievable. Like, I, I honestly think consoles are finished. That everything now is going to be on PC and going to be, like, well, on Steam and things like that. Because it seems to be the only way to get new types of games is either, like I said, from indies or other smaller companies. And for everyone else, all the big boys, they release these ridiculously crazy expensive games. Anyways, I'm going to be doing more vlogs from here on out. I'm going to try and leave Saturday, excuse me, uh, Sunday for vlogs. I'm, I'm really going to try and do that if I can uh, with different topics. It doesn't always have to be a community question. It might be something uh, like the new Star Wars trailer, which was awesome. I absolutely love that. Can't wait for uh, the new Star Wars movie. But anyway. Um, and, you know, just random things going on. So, uh, you know, you guys requested more vlogs, so here's the first one. I hope you enjoy it. It's a small little thing, nothing long. But uh, are you with me that uh, the industry has basically changed to the point where it, I don't even care anymore. Like, uh, I'll, I'll game whenever I can, but that's sort of like the appeal to retro to me is because modern gaming just is really starting to lose its flair because I find... All the big boys, all the big games are, are more or less the same now. And I, I, I argue with me, please do. Give me some suggestions of some games that uh, I should try out. I mean, I've barely played on my PS4 or Xbox One or Wii U in quite a while now because I just, I don't know, lack of motivation and, well, to be really honest, lack of time right now. Anyways, guys, that was it. Uh, this is the return of the vlog series. And I'll be trying to do one a week, so I uh, hope you enjoy, and uh, well, I guess I'll see you next week. Take care, everyone.